So in the last video, I set up an experiment. I hired five Fiverr developers to create a 2D game using these same assets, but different game engines to see, can you tell the difference? I asked you guys what game went with what engine and anyone who guessed all five games correctly would get an amazing prize. And after 150 plus comments, I tallied the votes. I have the results and they're pretty interesting. Game one was honestly a pretty impressive experience on my part, and the vote was closely split with most of you thinking it was made with Game Maker or Construct. Game one was in fact made in Game Maker. 23%, not super great. Oh, and by the way, all the links to the developers and their Fiverr profiles are down in the description, so check them out. Game numero dos. The movement in this one felt a little slow, but it had some really solid item implementation and challenges. Most of you thought game two was made in the Gato engine, but statistically, this was pretty much a roll of the dice. Game two was actually made in Construct 3. One interesting thing that I did notice was that some of you were extremely sure about one or two of the games based on a feature or a default setting that you thought you saw. They were pretty much all wrong. Game three had this really cool cinematic, which despite what a lot of you thought, was not made in Unity, even though 28% of you thought it was. It also wasn't Game Maker or Gato. Only 10% of you got this one right. It was GDevelop. Game four was actually one of my favorites of the bunch. This was a split between Game Maker and Gato. And this one was made in Gato. Probably why it was one of my favorites. I'm very biased. Which leaves us with game five, which most of you were absolutely positively sure it was GDevelop. It was actually Unity. So basically you were all over the place and that means you had no idea, which is expected. It's difficult, if not impossible to tell because you can achieve a lot with all of these game engines. All of them are capable tools. And the most important thing is which engine fits with you the best as a developer. And finally, the winner or winners. I counted the votes, I recounted them and I mixed them all up and counted them again and no one got it right. A couple of people got real close, but at the end of the day, close don't cut. A lot of you did say that 2D was not good for this kind of test and 3D would be better. And I agree, I think 3D would be pretty cool. So if you wanna see a 3D version of this experiment, let me know down in the comments. Do all the YouTube stuff, it helps the channel. And as always, keep creating. Now what the heck am I supposed to do with all this prize money?